What's up everybody, Bohan back with a video. Today I'm gonna to go through something I needed to go through for a while. Well, not 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 too not a long time. But basically just a, a kind of a quick backlog update, uh look at what I'm working on, some of the things I'm building, um just to kind of give myself a good mental checklist as well. So let's just get right to it and I'm gonna show you a big pile of stuff that you might have noticed in the uh thumbnail. I'll probably have a big pile of stuff there but first i wanted to point out that um snapships was one, is one of the 12 lines i collect so there are i'm try, i'm sticking to that 12 right now i saw a new toy line and i wanted to collect i was like no so these are snapships if you don't know uh you can just find in my videos the playlist of snapships or i'll link it in the description or whatever but um these are uh, fantastic if you didn't see my other videos on these they are a fantastic inexpensive building a modular toy line and I'm telling you these are so good you can get I got this one on sale I can't remember how much but you can get it on sale for dirt cheap on Amazon occasionally and then uh, even at Target you'll find them and they're just a great modular kit where you, you, you essentially it's based kind of like Lego around a certain basic brick kind of idea it's based on that where you can break it apart simply uh, rotate it you can put it on any of those axes there and then you've just got a billion parts cool little parts uh you know hatches and in little uh, little critters and little little pilots and and people and it's just it's one of those lines the reason i collected it or still collect it waiting on the next uh the next uh version of these but the reason i started collecting was just because they looked like just absolute fun you can just sit there while just sitting at your desk or Whatever, you can just piddle around and make stuff and have fun. And, and you just come up with everything you make is cool looking. All the ships you make are cool looking. So what I bought is I have three boxes. I have every kit they've offered so far. Um, and then I've got three boxes of this, as you can see. So I've got to assemble all of those. So I'll be doing that soon enough. So let's scoot some of that. Oh, my God. Let me pause there. I'm going to put that away. Just to give you an idea, here's my Snap Ships box. Um, along with some of the models I've also, also already built. It, it looks like it's just a pile of Lego or something, but there is just so much going on here. Fantastic line, you should really pick this up. Let me put those in here, and then I'm going to move on to the next thing that I'm uh, backlogging here. Okay, next I've got another one of the 12 lines I collect are the Fortnite 7-inch uh, Farland 7-inch Fortnite uh, characters hello there's me and uh this is one that i've been meaning to pick up for a while they're they're pretty inexpensive i think these were 17 bucks because they've been out for a while people have collected them and done whatever amazing uh, again these are the type of action figures i was never an action figure kid i liked a little gi jones stuff but i was more of like a weird robots type of kid and uh but these things have changed my mind like they're just so playable you know, you can mess around with them, and they're just so posable and fun, and they're inexpensive. Um, McFarland does amazing stuff, as everybody knows. Speaking of that, I acquired some more of the Warhammer line, which is the uh, Warham, you know, the uh, McFarland's uh, attempt at Warhammer figs. I want to show you something here. This is the uh, Battle Sister. On the left is the quote-unquote painted one from Warhammer, and I did a review on these as well. Um, if you look back at my videos, you'll see uh, you'll see that as well. If you want to get it up close, uh, look at these. But that's the Battle Sister with paint, right? And it's it's okay. Like some McFarlane, it's hit or miss, but overall they have good paint. But the 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 blank that they sell you here is for painting, so you can actually paint this. So I imagine that pretty easily, you could do a better job than this. This one here and some of the other McFarlane toys only just need a little bit of a wash, uh, and they'll be amazing. So I had to grab the two blanks. Um, one of the things I'm debating is behind the sections on my toy shelves, you might have seen from my toy shelf videos, I kind of have just a blank wall and I kind of want something behind it like a, you know, like a display or something. I've been looking at printable backgrounds, you know, waterfalls or forest or whatever. And I thought, you know, what? these were 10 bucks a piece because they started clearing some out like McFarland toys always get. I grabbed the blanks and I might leave, just leave... Um, I'm not I'm not the type of person to leave toys and packages, but I might just leave these, you know, some something in the background as kind of a sign to say here's the Fortnite collection, here's the Warhammer collection. So glad to have grabbed those. That's going to be really really uh, uh, cool to open and well or to leave there. I'm going to open this one and probably give the wash that one so I can compare it to the other one unwashed. So let's move on to my uh, kits now that I've got to catch up on. Okay, another one of the 12 lines I've clicked, Rehio, which is V-Link Mecha, 
um, uh, it's called, what is it, a multi-abyss. Um, but basically, this is a line from China. It's an independent line. You've seen me review it before. It's just so, I, I am all about modular toys. And uh, I'm trying to buy each one of them in the entire line. That means getting all the color variants as well. So this, this all these really are color variants. But these are such a great line. You pick them up on uh, Amazon or eBay or um, even, uh, I think, Big Bad Toy Store, places like that. And you just get a billion little fun parts to build a little army. On top of these three, this is the Vermin Slasher. This one is incredible. I love this guy here. Um, on, I've got the, this is the black one. I think I've got the gray one. What color do I have? Yeah, gray. Um, but on top of these three, I still have to build. I have six of the other smaller vehicles. You might have seen my uh, video about that a few weeks ago. But again, if you can pick up Reha or here, if you like modular kits. I, somebody told me they are actually kind of a, a nod to I want to get these I can't get these anywhere I can't find them they are a nod to uh what's it called Diaclone which I've never collected Diaclone I don't know anything about I started looking at it and then I saw the prices and I was like dear god no thank you I'll probably never ever look at that again but so those are th actually probably th I'd, let's say three and a half kits of Rahio because I've got the small, I got six of the small vehicles I got assembled. Then my Rahio shelf is just going to look freaking awesome. So let's move on to the next line. Okay, as you know, the next, one of the next toy lines I collect are um, 1 and 144 scale HG uh, model kits from uh, Bandai. Probably, you might hear my wife laughing in the background, so. Uh, probably one of the best uh, deals out there and have been for, for what, two decades, three decades as far as the quality has now gotten up there. I found this one and another one in a half price books for I think $10. Um, these are not necessarily Gunpla, but these are still in the HG line and still by Bandai. I built one of these guys before. This is the uh, What's Her Name's kit. I just, I mean, it's pink, it's so cool. I don't even know this game, but I really want to download and play it, but I think it's only PlayStation. But I've got to build that one. The other one I built, you'll see the review on my channel. Here's another easy, I think, again, I think I got it for 10 bucks. You can get some of these guys these kits for ten to twenty five to thirty dollars, right? And let's say you, let's say you spend fifty or sixty dollars, it's just a box of joy. You just get a whole huge. In fact, I'll show you one here in a minute that is a similar thing. This is their thirty minutes missions kit. It's still one one forty four scale, but it's a cheaper line. Uh, most of them even go quite a bit lower than that. They go like ten dollars a piece. And I've done a review of uh, thirty minutes missions. If you want to look at those, um, but they're starting to create more. Of these kind of instead of just a plain robot looking one they're starting to create these really cool and as you can see it was only 16 bucks that it would actually probably have been less than that i bought it at a hobby store and hobby stores as you know usually mark the prices up a decent amount so this is a wondrous line for beginners uh, the sprues are linked or i'm sorry are uh like put together with just like a sign like there's a little a little symbol in each sprue like for the head you just grab that sprue and everything for the heads on that sprue you grab the arms and everything for the uh, arms is on that sprue so it's just a, an amazing line go check out my review of these and while i'm speaking of hg let me grab this one real quick this is uh not hg uh, this is i did the black war gray mon i'm sorry i did the uh war gray mon or whatever the the non-black version of this kit i haven't reviewed it yet i put it in a in a in a, um, a backlog video a couple years or a couple years ago, about a year ago. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this one and then I'll compare the two together. It's just a huge chunky kit, but I think this kit—I don't even know how much I spent on this—but you get so much plastic. It's so fun to build. It's relative. Oh, sorry, relatively easy to build. You just get a ton of fun stuff. It comes out with this. You just get a basically an, a cool action figure that you can customize and pull apart. Uh, I mean it. Bandai and Gunpla kits, or what they call Gundam plastic, or just these type of plastic kits they make, robots, whatever you want to call them, are just, um, I'm so glad I discovered them as a toy collector and toy enthusiast and customizer and toy maker. They're just fantastic. So let's go on to the next line, which I think will be my, uh, which should be my Hexagear. So this is my Hexagear pile I'm left with. If you follow my channel for a while, you know that I collect, or did, have been doing, trying to get all the Hexagear I can. Eventually, I'd like to have them all. The, the, Hexagear is pricey, um, strange. You get weird, <laughs> weird kits, robots out of it, but there's something about them. They're super sturdy, chunky plastic. They can be kind of flimsy as far as, I'm, as, far as like posing. They can kind of be 
flimsy in some modes, like a walker mode might be flimsier than the plane mode or whatever, you know. But um, the parts are so sturdy, you can really kind of easily up the up the uh, the strength of the kit by supports and stuff like that. Uh, their their bulk arms and their other main kits are. Um, much, much, much more sturdy, but I got all these, and I've still got to do, I mean, isn't it, isn't it fun just to have a hefty box like that of plastic? You just go, you know, look, look, I just got a hefty box of plastic, <laughs> and you're going to, you're going to assemble a bunch of little pieces, and it's, eventually they'll, they'll make this cool looking creature thing. It's just a, it's just a, such a fun company. So I've got that one, I got the high tracer, I've got the, the demolition brute, I've got the blaze bore, which is more like a personal thing of armor i think it's like a yeah so that looks really really fun um and you can of course blend it with all the other ones i think this is this governor is a du du uh, duplicate i already have this governor but it never hurts never bad to have an extra governor to pilot basically and then i've got the woodpecker which again is like a kind of like a smaller individual's suit of armor if i'm not mistaken it's a smaller box as you can see Still a fantastic looking kit. Sorry for the glare there. Let me see what I have left here. I have a couple things. A couple things left. I, as you saw in my last uh, Armored Puppet video, I bought two of these on accident. So I have a second one. I was debating doing a giveaway, but I might need to use this for my little, my little uh, area because the industrial one has all the industrial tools and stuff, and they could be repairing the bots and all that. Uh, again, one of the 12 lines I collect these are just awesome spend the money on them you won't regret it because you get extra parts once you buy two or three of them you can kind of you can't necessarily make larger versions of them you can't make like big versions of this same critter like you can with like say hexagear or whatever but you just get a ton of uh, plastic and a lot of fun uh, smoky parts and different colors and it's it's a really good deal it's a little bit expensive but a really good deal so last i've got a review Last, I've got to review this thing. My wife got this, so we're going to have to give this a review. She really, really liked this movie, and so did I, and she really loved the mom character. And the thing about this is we grabbed it from Target. We couldn't find it anywhere else. They're just figures. They're not uh, posable or anything. They're like you would, uh, we were joking about the right skull to play like D&D with, you know, almost. Um, they could use a little bit of a wash, and I'll, I'll do a, a deeper review about these um, for my channel later when I unbox them. But look at this display. Um, of course... It, they brought it to us kind of squished so we could pop that out. But just that little plastic display, although it's not going to last forever because it is plastic, you could literally buy that and just set it on your shelf. And it looks cool. Look at that. Isn't that a neat display? I don't know if this little kind of, this is kind of intentional here. It's got kind of a little boat area, but it looks, I mean, just really, really cool characters. I'm not going to talk about that too much because I want to do it later. And uh, so, yeah, that should be it. I think I've got everything pretty much covered up to that point. So what I'm probably going to do is I might get back down to one or two videos a week instead of trying for three because of work and stuff. And also I found with three, I wasn't able to keep up as much. That's good. I still still did it for about six months or whatever. So I'll still be doing videos every week. So keep an eye out, eye out for those. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe just because I like seeing numbers go higher. And everybody's been subscribing lately, so that's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm not doing this for money. I do this for fun and for a hobby and to collect cool toys. So, uh, but I like subscriptions and leave a comment. I love talking to people about their toys and everything because uh, that's, that's the fun part. Um, thanks a lot, everybody. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.